So we're going to move on now to speed reading. How many of you would like to read faster? Right? So that is human again. The brain <coughs> wants to do well. How many of you have a book with you today? How many of you have a book here? Okay. So we'll do some basic checks. When you are reading, it's normally best to have your desk, your light, your my map pad, <coughs> your colors everywhere, your reference, you know, what you need to my map. So here, when you're speed reading, you will be in a somewhat difficult position. So what I'm going to do is to give you the overview of what speed reading is, and I will tell you about my history. So this is a story of little Tony in school and why reading changed me. So I'm now in school. <clears throat> I'm in my late pre-teens and early teens, and I don't like school. I don't like school. But I was given tests, and <clears throat> sometimes we were given tests every day and didn't even know what the tests were. And one week we had a lot of tests, and I was sitting in my class, and the teacher came in and said, I'm giving you the results of your speed reading tests. And I didn't even know we'd done it. So I was sitting there, and the teacher handed out the results. And my speed was about 213 words per minute. 213 words. And I knew nothing about it. And I thought, Tony Buzan, reading speed, 213 words a minute, pretty good, 60 seconds in one minute, 213 words in a minute. I thought, that must be the top speed, it was a big number for me, so I sitting in my chair, and I turned to a young girl, Maureen, who usually did well in exams, and I said, Maureen, how did you do? And I thought she was going to say about 110. And she said, 314. And I thought, what? <laughs> 213. 314. So I went up to the teacher in the break and I said, Sir, I want to improve my speed. And the teacher said, No, you can't do that. Your reading speed is your reading speed. And that's what you're born with, and that's it. So you won't improve it. I had already begun to become a delinquent because I began to realize that in the school system I was being stopped, told no, told cannot, told don't. <clears throat> so I thought, he said I cannot improve my reading speed. But by that time I was 12 years old little boy, 12 years old, just beginning to become male, progesterone. And I saw other young boys going, putting on some muscles. And I looked at my body in the mirror, not much muscle. And I thought, be really nice to look like those other boys. So I'll go to the gym with them. So I went into the gym, 
sit-ups, push-ups. And for the first time in my life, I saw a muscle there. <laughs> I thought, wow, look at that. I can control that. I can be the architect of my body. I can get my quads. I can get my six pack. I can get my pecs. So I thought, I can change myself. So then I thought, so if my speed is 213, and if my teacher says I cannot, my teacher must be wrong, because I can change this. So I must be able to change this.